Hi dear crocheters, our today's video tutorial will be on how to crochet a bread hat. Um, this is a really simple beginner level pattern and um, this tutorial I'm going to show you the toddler size and in my Ravelry store you will find um, the uh, size for toddler for child as well as for the adult size okay but for this tutorial I'm gonna show you the uh, toddler size and the material that I have used in this uh, pattern are the Alice cotton baby soft which is a sport weight um, it is 50% cotton and 50% acrylic okay and for the body, I have used a 4 millimeter hook, which is a 7 in the US size. And for the edge, I have used a 3.5 millimeter hook. Okay. And needle scissors also. okay so so let's start our tutorial hope you will enjoy it okay so I'm gonna link all the materials that I have used down in the box below okay and also you can use uh, a DK weight yarn okay I'm gonna also link it down in the description below okay so let's start our tutorial so with our 4.5 millimeter we will start our pattern so we will do a slip knot Then chain of five, three, four, five, and then we have to make a slip stitch into the first stitch. Okay. Then we will do chain of three. One, two, and three, and this chain of three will be considered as a double crochet. Then we will make another twelve double crochet within the ring. So, yarn over hook within the ring. We have to make double crochet. Then on the third chain, one, two, three, we will make slip stitch. Then chain three, yarn over hook, in the same stitch we will do double crochet. And in the next stitch, we will do two double crochet. Two. In the next we will do Two double crochet so we will keep doing the same two double crochet in each stitch 
till we get to the last stitch so we will have 26 double crochet then slip stitch into the chain three then we have to chain five three will be considered as double crochet and two will be considered as a chain space okay yarn over hook we have to skip the next chain the next stitch and in this stitch we will do a double crochet chain two skip the next we do double crochet chain two skip the next we do double crochet so we will keep doing the same till the end of the round we make chain to skip this and then we have to make a slip knot on the third one two three chain then we make chain three in the same stitch we will do another double crochet and in the chain space we will do two double crochet On the previous double crochet or the double crochet of the previous round we will do two double crochet on that stitch one two and in the chain space we will do two double crochet so we will keep doing the same two double crochet slip stitch one two three into the third chain then we will make chain five three chain are considered as double crochet and the two chain are considered as as chain space okay so then skip next stitch and in the next we will do double crochet chain two skip a stitch and in the next we will do double crochet chain two skip a stitch into the next we will do double crochet so we will keep doing the same till the end of the round then we make chain two skip this stitch and then we have to make slip stitch onto the third chain then we make chain one this is not considered as a stitch yarn over hook in the double crochet of the previous round we will do a front post double crochet then in the chain space we will do double crochet and 
and then in the previous in the double crochet of the previous round we will do a front post double crochet and in the next space chain space we will do a V stitch that is double crochet chain one and double crochet in the same space okay a double crochet of the previous round we will do a front post double crochet in the next space we will do double crochet in the next DC or double crochet we will do a front post double crochet and in the chain space we will do a V stitch that is double crochet chain one double crochet so we will do the same till we finish the round then we have to make slip stitch into the first stitch or first chain then we make chain one and in the front post double crochet of the previous round we will do a front post double crochet then in the next double crochet we will do double crochet and then in the front post double crochet of the previous we will do a front post double crochet and in the V stitch we will do a V stitch that is double crochet chain one double crochet then in the front post we will do front post double crochet in the next stitch we will do double crochet And then front post in the previous front post and in the V stitch we will do a V stitch which is double crochet chain one double crochet so we will do the same till the end of the round and round eight we will make chain one front post double crochet in the front post double crochet of the previous round we will repeat round um, seven so in the next stitch we will do double crochet and then front post double crochet in the front post double crochet of the previous round then in the V stitch we we'll do we will do a V stitch that is double crochet chain one double crochet front post double crochet double crochet in the next stitch front post double crochet and then in the V stitch we will do a V stitch that is double crochet chain one double crochet so we will keep doing the same till we finish the round so then we make slip stitch into the beginning chain and then we make chain one and in the front post double crochet of the previous we will do a front post double crochet in the next stitch we will do two double crochet
como chega. Front post double crochet around the front post double crochet of the previous round. Then in the V stitch, we will do a V stitch that is double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then around the previous front post double crochet, we will do front post double crochet, and then in the next space, we will do double crochet one two okay and then front post double crochet around the front post double crochet and in the V stitch we will do a V stitch that is double crochet chain one double crochet so we will keep doing the same Till we finish the round then we will make slip stitch into the beginning chain round 10 chain one and we do front post double crochet okay in the next stitch we will do double crochet chain one In the next stitch we will do double crochet then in the next front post we will do a front post double crochet in the V stitch we will do a V stitch that is one double crochet chain one another double crochet so in the next front post we will do a front post then in the next stitch we will do double crochet chain one in the next stitch we will do a double crochet then in the next front post we will do a front post and then in the V stitch we will do a V stitch that is one double crochet chain one another double crochet and we will keep doing the same till the end of the round then slip a stitch after that chain one front post double crochet Then in the next stitch we will do double crochet, chain 2, double crochet in the next stitch. Then front post double crochet in the next front post double crochet. V stitch which is double crochet chain one double crochet then 
front post double crochet in the next front post double crochet then chain one I'm sorry uh, double crochet in the next stitch chain two and double crochet in the next stitch front post double crochet in the next front post double crochet and V stitch in the V stitch in the next V stitch which is double crochet chain one double crochet and so we will keep doing the same till the end of the round and then we do slip stitch then we do chain one front post double crochet in the previous front post double crochet chain one in this space chain two space we will do a V stitch which is double crochet chain one double crochet then chain one in the next we will do a front post double crochet chain one in the next V stitch we will do a V stitch that is double crochet chain one double crochet again we will do chain one and in the next front post we will do a front post double crochet chain one And this chain two space we will do a V stitch which is double crochet chain one double crochet chain one in the next front post we will do a front post double crochet chain one and in the next V stitch we will do a V stitch that is chain one that is double crochet chain one double so we will keep doing the same till the end of the round then here we get to the last round so we will do chain one and slip stitch into the beginning chain so from this round onward we will use a 3.5 millimeter hook okay so what we will do is chain one front post double crochet V stitch in the next V stitch we will do double crochet chain one double crochet in the same space then front post double crochet And then in the next V stitch we will do a V stitch that is double crochet chain one double crochet so we will keep doing the same
till the end of the round so we finish this round we will do a slip stitch into the beginning chain okay then we have to make chain one and we have to repeat what we have done in this previous round three times we have to repeat it three times that is we do a front post double crochet v stitch front post double crochet v stitch we have to repeat this round three times after finishing it i'll be back so here we are at the um, last round so we will make a slip stitch into the beginning chain one then we will make chain one front post double crochet in the front post double crochet of the previous round we make chain one and in the v stitch we will do a double crochet chain one and then in the front post double crochet we will do a front post double crochet chain one in the v stitch we will do a double crochet chain one and in the next front post we will do a front post double crochet chain one and in the v stitch we will do a double crochet chain one and in the next front post we will do a front post double crochet so we will keep doing the same till the end of the round so here we are at the end of the round so we will do chain one and then slip stitch into the beginning chain one then we make chain one and front post double crochet around the front post double crochet of the previous round and then in the next stitch we will do a double crochet and then in the next front post we will do a front post double crochet and in the next double crochet we will do a double crochet and then in the next front we will do a front post double crochet so we will keep doing the same till the end of the round so here we get to the last round at the end of the round so we will make slip stitch so we have so we finish our pattern so we have to make one chain Cut our yarn and we have to secure it. So we have to wave in the indus. So here is our beret hat for the toddler size. So guys, hope you 
enjoy this video tutorial and if you like it please give it a thumb up don't forget to subscribe as well as hit the bell button to be notified whenever i have uploaded a new video thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye